Alright, let's be real. So we're all tired of these games that are overrated. We're all tired of these games that are cash grabs. We're all tired of these simulators, hobbies, games that are just getting copied and pasted. Games that are just there to make some Robux. I mean, we all want something new, right? So what is the solution to this problem? Well, it's this video. Because in this video, I'll show you the best games to play in Robux when you're bored as of 2024. If you enjoyed this video, just please make sure to drop a like, you know, subscribe, because it really helps out a ton. So let's get straight into the video. We're not gonna focus on simulators and hobbies because everyone knows about those types of games. And instead, we're gonna focus on the games that everyone can run, including mobile players and PC players. I'm gonna make sure that you can run the game smoothly on any device, which means that you're not going to lag. So let's start with fighting games. We all know about Blade Ball, Bad Wars, Combat Warriors, we all know about those types of games. Let's not forget this one as well, guys. But there is one game that stands out among the others, and that game is Harbor Havoc. This game is really fun and enjoyable to play, it has been released in 2019, it only has 1000 active players. This game is war based, which means that if you're a history fan, this game is perfect for you. Now on the other side, the game looks a little bit goofy on mobile, and the game passes a little bit pay to win, but the game itself is very very fun and very enjoyable with low graphics which means that everyone can run the game smoothly and the good thing is that it doesn't have a toxic community. Now if fighting games are your style and you would like to socialize with other players then I think I have the perfect game for you. We all know about Bookhaven, Metro Life, Leftopia, Royal High School, we all know about those games. But this game is one of the best games to socialize with other players and make new friends. Now the name might sound goofy but the game itself is not. The game that I'm talking about is Public Bathroom Simulator. The game has been released in 2018, it has almost 2000 active players every day and it's the perfect game if you want to socialize. You can play to mobile, PC, or anything. The game is rated 13 plus, so if you're below that, you cannot use the voice chat option, but you will still be able to type. The private server in these games are free, which means that you can create a private server and invite your friends to play, and currently there are no game passes. Now, if these games don't sound fun to you, and you like the fighting category, you don't like the social category, then I think I have the perfect option for you. We all try driving a car at least once, at least in game. The game that I'm talking about has insane graphics, you can launch on any device, including MacBook, iPhone, Android, or even low tier PCs. The game has many car options, is very detailed, many hours has been put into the game, has many codes, the private servers are free, has 4000 active players, and the game that I'm talking about is Taxi Boss. This game is perfect if you love driving a car, or even just chilling around the map. Now some people when they join this game, they find it pretty boring because they don't have a lot of money, but the good thing is that there are codes, and if you don't know any codes, well, it's okay, because I made a video on my channel showcasing all working codes for Taxi Boss that are guaranteed to give you at least 20,000 cash. Now if this game doesn't sound fun, then there is still one game that could potentially be the winner. Everyone knows about this game, everyone played this game at least once, and it's still not overrated. The game is very much alive today, it's one of the most popular games on Roblox, and the game that I'm talking about is Beast Form Simulator. Now, why am I saying Beast Form Simulator if I said at the beginning of the video that we won't be talking about simulators? The game is so good that it doesn't even feel like a simulator. It has so many maps, so many quests, so many things. When you first join the game, you get overwhelmed. Now, the game might be a little boring because there are too many things, and it takes too much time to grind the game, but the game overall feels great, the graphics really match the vibe, you just can't get bored of this game. It's very satisfying to play this game for at least 2 hours until you eventually get bored, but trust me, it's very hard to get bored of this game. If you're not a fan of any of these games, then there is still one last game. It is a very scary game, inspired by Doors, with its own unique graphics and animations. The game that I'm talking about is Pressure. Pressure is basically like Doors 2. You and your friends join a server, and you all work together towards the end. Now of course, the private servers are free, which makes this game very good for playing with friends. There are 50 max players, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, you have to pay a game pass to actually play with 50 players. So technically, the max is 12. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.